My name is Michelle McAllister and I'm the coordinator for the Heroin Partnership Project. We're calling it an action plan for recovery and it's for people and family members who maybe are struggling with substance use disorder. They can come and we're going to have several different agencies from town that can help them begin the recovery process. Um, so Job and Family Services will be there if you need help getting signed up for Medicaid. And we have several different treatment providers ranging from counseling to medication assisted therapy, um, ambulatory detox, and a lot of other resources that we have here in Ross County that some people may not know that we have. We'll have a short uh, discussion session at the beginning, but we like to devote most of the time to allow people to meet with the different providers in our area that could help them. Um, we will be having a, a one young lady come to speak about her recovery process and I think that will be an inspiration for others who are maybe just beginning. We need to treat it as a medical issue. One thing that the partnership is really striving to do this year is reduce st the stigma that's attached to substance use disorder. You know it can affect anybody um, and I would venture to guess that someone you know personally has been affected and maybe you don't know that because they haven't talked about it but it's still out there and I think that the more that we see that this is a medical issue it needs medical attention it needs um, counseling services mental health issues need to be addressed it's nothing to be ashamed of it can happen to anybody opioid addiction it is horrible and a lot of times um, people continue to use because the withdrawal is so awful it it's um, it's very painful it's uh, not a not a pleasant experience and a lot of people will sometimes you know just maintain usage to prevent themselves from going into that withdrawal period because it's so horrible um, and I think too that we know, you know, someone who's in an active addiction, that there are always other things going on. Maybe there are some issues at home. Maybe there are um, issues with employment or underlying mental health issues. So, um, you know, it's not just a, it's not a moral failing to turn to a substance to medicate yourself from these issues that you might be having in your life. Um, but there are better alternatives that we can help people obtain so that they don't have to live like that anymore. There are evidence-based approaches that um, have shown to be successful and you know we can with the help of, of the support groups we can t tell you you know people can meet and say well this is what's worked for me uh, or this is what didn't work for me. And so, you know, you get a wide range of experiences that, that you can benefit from. We're doing this in the coroner's office, and far too many of these stories end up being reported right here. Um, the whole idea is to help people avoid coming and having the coroner involved. Absolutely. And fortunately for Ross County, in 2017, our overdose deaths were down 25%. Um, that's huge. That's absolutely huge because almost every other county in the state increased and Ross County is decreasing. So um, we are making an impact on, on the epidemic here in Ross County. We have developed something called the Post Overdose Response Team and that's a collaboration between law enforcement and treatment providers and we meet weekly. Uh, we go over all of the overdo overdoses that have happened in the past week and then the officers and a treatment provider will go out to those people's homes and visit them, offer them treatment, offer their family support and I think it makes a huge difference that you know someone who's struggling with addiction gets a personal visit. It lets them know that we care about them and we want to help them get better. I think um much like the roller coaster ride for the addict, there are different levels and different stages even for those who love those people. Mm -hmm. um, how are you able to help them? We have a wonderful family support group that meets weekly. 
at the Ross County Community Action on Thursdays at 5 o'clock. And uh, Christina Arredondo runs that, and um, she is the chairperson of the Ross County Chapter of Ohio CAN, which stands for Change Addiction Now. And um, she's had a personal um, experience with that. She lost her daughter to an overdose death. She leads that support group, and it's a wonderful means for uh, someone who has a child or a loved one in addiction and they don't know where to begin to get help but they also need support because as you said it's it's tough on everybody and that's a wonderful resource I hope that everyone will come out to the action plan for recovery um, even if you're not necessarily affected by it personally I think there's a lot of information that you could um, garner from it that might help someone that you know and um, I'm hoping that people will come out and um, and who are looking for help maybe they don't know where to start hope they'll come out and visit us and we can help get them on the path to recovery